It's a grand old flag. Okay, never. Never ready. <laughs> you could sing it's a grand old flag. Yeah, I was. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's like what? <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> yeah, talk about those cheese. Hey guys! I'm Yana. And I'm Kayla, and welcome to the lovely Ink Headquarters, aka, AKA our, our house. house. <laughs> yeah, we live here. So we today are celebrating the one year anniversary of Evermore. Yay! Um, and yeah, we wanted to kind of start the conversation and letting you guys get to know who we are as a company and, and the two of us. So let's start by just talking about what we do as the co-founders. I do a lot of the technical side of things when you're looking at the buttons that you click, all of the loading screens and all of that stuff. That's my job. I do the coding with um, a partner of mine. I also do half the writing and with Kayla. And yes, we do the writing together. We do the storyboarding, characters, doing their personalities, everything like that together. Mm -hmm. um, and then I do more of the graphics and marketing side. So like the graphics of the menus and layouts and things like that. So if you get a response on social media, it's probably going to be for me. If you get a response on email or tech support, it's definitely going to be Yana. And since you now know a little bit about us, we did ask you if you guys wanted to know anything about Evermore a little bit more in depth. So we're taking the questions you guys asked us on Twitter and on Instagram. We're going to answer those now. Okay, so the first question is from Joe. They say, will there be more side stories? I love the side stories. So... Yes, yes, there's so many more side stories we're planning. For this year, we have two planned. There's going to be one about summer camp retreat since we have a winter camp retreat already and we know you guys love that one. And the second one is the BL special. That was supposed to come out last year, as you guys know, but we've been working really hard on it and it's taking a little bit longer than expected. So we just wanna make sure it's perfect for you guys. Mm -hmm. And that will be coming out later this year to be announced. Yes. Okay, Silver Shadow Wolf says, will there be more than one season for the characters in Evermore? Do you plan to release any more characters for season one? Um, so there will definitely be more seasons, I can say that. We do yeah. already have those kind of planned. At the very least, season two, and I think we have three somewhat planned. Yeah, we have season two planned, def um, working into season three. Those you'll see more announcements for as we get closer to what we're gonna release for those. As for any more characters, I can't solidly i don't think we are to be honest i don't think so because i don't really like to introduce characters in season two like we don't like when other companies do it anyways yeah um that's something we've talked about so probably not um we do want to release season two for sure as soon as we can but it is just us two in our yeah. house it's just us so that's why it can sometimes take a little bit longer yeah and i think we also work really hard on the ensemble cast being the cast together so it's like we don't know we want to work anymore in because their backgrounds all kind of blend together and yeah kind of each other and, and initially we wanted to make more side characters be like main characters <laughs> but because we like their ensembles so much we ended up like kind of pairing them with other people so it's yeah. kind of weird like for example Amane and Naoki if you know you know if you know you know okay so this one is from M Burgundy they say which route do you recommend playing first and or last I don't know I feel like what do you do? What would you play first? <laughs> and I'll say what I would play first. Well, I would 100% play manager last because I just feel like this is special. Mm -hmm. um, you could play it first. It really wouldn't affect anything. I just think I like to save my favorite characters for last. Yeah. As far as who I would play first, I would probably say Hero just because he's like the one that seems like the canon choice. Yeah. What about you? I would say Hero first. Who I would play last is... I would honestly play last Daichi or boss, to be honest. Oh, really? What's your order? Just name your whole In my order. order, like being very transparent, Kira, Minoru, Manager, Daichi, Kyosuke. I would, I, my favorite, favorite, I don't have a favorite route, to be honest, but that's like the order I would play it in. Just like if I was first time playing Hero and Minoru's personality and the, the history that they have with her are similar, so I would be like, it's almost the same. Yeah, I would say Hero, then Minoru. Oh, it's hard though, because when you play Minoru's, you could go to Hero after. You could do either one. Shoot. It's the same way. It's like if I played Kyosuke, I would play Daichi. If I played Daichi, I'd play Kyosuke. So it depends on who. If we were, if I was recommending who you'd start with first, I would honestly always recommend Hero. They have favorite childhood friends, their family or friends, and it's a really I, I, I loved writing that route and and seeing what it, heroes come to now. I think it depends too on like your vibe. Like if you're wanting to go for the pop star angle of the story and the celebrity angle of the story, definitely I would say the ones that have the most celebrity angle is heroes and Kyosuke's probably. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting to go for something completely different and like more of the office sides of things and like kind of the romance is a lot different than those two, I would say Minoru and Daichi. And then of course, 
the celebrity side manager too, I would say, but manager is a secret route too. So you can start with him or end with him and you will not be disappointed yeah. at all. If you play any of their routes one after another, you won't be disappointed. They're all such unique personalities and different stories that you'll get something new no matter what you do. Right. So yeah, so that one's a hard one. Wow. Yeah, we really don't have a clear answer. Except for maybe Hero's <laughs> definitely first. Hero's always first. <laughs> okay, so then we have from, I don't know how to say the name, but it's somebody that we talk to a lot online. It's Reva, R-E-V-V-A. I don't know if it's Reva or Reva or Rev V A. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But they say, congrats on one year. Every penny spent towards the game is totally deserved. I want to know more about everyone's apartment slash homes. We only get to see the MCs and heroes in the game, and I'd love to see their places, even if it's just a Pinterest mood board. Oh, you're going to see their places next season. Maybe even sooner. Who knows? Probably sooner. Um, Maybe a little sooner if you play the BL for Kiss. Yeah. Daichi. If you when the BL comes out, you might see some other sides to Daichi and Kyosuke. But we actually talk about this all the time. We want their houses, but if you played the story, this was specifically heroes. It makes more sense why his uh, pops up first. Yeah, it kind of like takes place more so there, whereas the other ones, it there just wasn't a point where they needed to go to their house. Yes. But they're all definitely season two is going to be very centered around them basically living together, and I'm sure you guys would know that if you played the calls. Yeah, if you played the late um, night late calls, night and if you haven't, buy the late night calls right now because then you'll get to you'll see, see why why they'll be possibly doing something else. But yeah. Okay, so Sonia Evermind one says, "Are we?" ever getting more manager. He's my favorite. I loved his route. His mask made me buy him because I needed to know his secrets. Also, is there any more releases coming this year? And one more, sorry, what made you guys come up with the idea for the mask? So that was a lot of questions. Let's start with the first one. Are we getting more manager? Yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Very soon, actually, because mm -hmm. his birthday is coming up on Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, and then we have, are there more releases this year? Yes, we're mm -hmm. going to be hopefully releasing Summer Camp is for Lovers and the BL specials. Yes. What made you guys come up with the idea for the mask? Do you want to tell this one? I think this is a funny story for us as people. So just a little background if you don't already know, Kayla and I are best friends. We have been friends for over 20 years now. Yeah, since second grade. So we've known, yeah, we've known each other our entire lives practically. So we pretty much agree and have the same idea about every single thing, but. But since working together, it's like, we definitely mostly agree on everything, but it's the first time where we have to be like, I actually think this way. Yeah. So then we have to try and convince each other like of why, because we always want to be on the same page. We do, and so it makes our creative, um, I feel like it makes our creativity a lot better, but um, so I was at my house one day before we like lived together again, um, and manager and hero, but this was before Evermore was like fully fleshed, even done yet, and she calls me and she's like, I have this really cool idea, but you have to like bear with me. And I'm like, Okay, like what's up? Like I don't, you know, I don't know. And then, cause first, hold on, let me tell one quick back piece. You had sent me some texts about, okay, I think this is what I want manager to look like. Oh, yeah. We were thinking somebody boisterous. We were thinking maybe he would even have like a cape. I think is what you were going for mm -hmm. in the beginning. Cause originally, Evermore, she had written down and brought to me the idea when we were working with Snowkiss on like paper. And so she had a basic idea of some of the characters before we actually took yeah. them and flushed them out together. And who manager was originally going to be was not the manager you guys see now. He was probably at that point was never going to be a main character. He was never going to be dateable. He was kind of just going to be like a stereotypical manager, if that makes sense. Yeah. And bouncing off of Hero in that way. Um, and I was sitting in bed and then I just got this idea. So then back to where she was at in her story. So she tells me, what if we gave him like a Kitsune mask and he's this like character who like at all times is on his phone, but he's got this mask on and nobody knows anything else about him. Yeah, because I wanted it to be like something that no one ever comes to So like he comes to the office. I didn't want everyone to be like, wow, what is he doing wearing a mask? And I just wanted everyone to be like, oh, there's his manager. Yeah, and it was just this normal ass thing, but it was like something that you wanted to comment on because he has this like intricate mask. And she sends me examples and I was like, no. I was like, no, you're crazy. I'm not, that looks crazy. And she's like, no, 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 like understand. And she gives me this whole layout and explanation. Cause then I was like, he could potentially even be a main character because what's underneath the mask is so much more. But if we test it, then we can see if people are even interested. And I think this would get them interested if he's just wearing a mask and literally no one says anything about it. And then I said, I, at first I was like really hesitant. And then I was like, okay. I mean, the worst I could say is they're like, what is that? And like nothing happens or comes from it. But then we released like, promo about like the game and then everyone was like who's the guy in the mask i want to play the guy in the mask i want to play the and guy so the that's mask. that's how we got to manager's mask it was really just a conversation of like me it it was just 
me saying, yes, I'll go with the plan this time. She trusted me, and I, I love yep. that she did that. And now she's, like, so on board with it. I love like, manager. Yeah. Love, yeah, so. Obviously, we made this whole route together, and now it is the most successful Evermore route. Mm-hmm. He definitely, and he sold the most his first week and just first couple months that he's been out. He's been and then we got to work with some um, Kaiji Von Tang, an yes. awesome voice actor he for him. He Gojo and Jujutsu Kaisen, mm-hmm. and he's in Bungo Stray Dogs, and mm-hmm. he's awesome. He's, he's awesome to work with. So, yeah, so that was super duper cool. We have from AC underscore Mexican. I've <laughs> always wondered where did you guys start from? Like, how did you guys even begin with Evermore? So I touched on it a little bit, but basically we were in college still and we were inside one of the library wor- rooms working on um, Stokus Romance, thinking of all these different ideas. And then she brought me a notebook full of ideas for a game called Evermore, which would be an office concept. I'm gonna tell more about that. Uh, yes, yeah. I used to do like writing on my own and stuff for another platform kind of thing. And it was just like my free time and I really was into it. And then Kayla had come to me with Snow Kiss cause that was your concept and we were working on that. And I was like, for whatever reason we were thinking like, okay, if we do Snow Kiss, like what'll be our next game? Cause we need to know our next project too. Cause that's who we are, just next. Yeah, next what's next, next, next? And I was like, I was kind of nervous at first, but I had come up with this idea. Originally, this game was going to be centered around Hero. That was the whole point was, no matter what Hero was, but what if we came with other options of other dateable characters, but the, the main storyline would have been around Hero. So I- Fun s- fact, Hero was initially gonna have a tattoo. Oh yeah, Hero was gonna have a huge tattoo <laughs> and that was gonna be like his thing. And, and that was before, cause she wrote it before like we even knew we were going to be like specifically focusing in on the Japanese market and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So that's why it was, yeah. He was gonna be tatted. He was gonna be. He was gonna have a tattoo, and he was gonna have like. He was gonna look so much different than what we decided that he was gonna be like. And he's inspired by um, Kisumi from Free. That's what. Yes, that's his like general like. image. Like we definitely were like, oh my god, I that's what Hero needs to look like adjacent <laughs> to. <laughs> so then I was nervous, and I had, I I was I had, I had this all in my notebook, like the first chapter of like Hero and Daichi thing, and Daichi didn't even have a name at this point. Daichi Minoru and Kisuke. Minoru's didn't have personality a name. was totally different. He was like mm-hmm. just her coworker. Like, like friend. Yep. Um, Amani's character was different. Like I literally didn't even have names for them. I just had heroes. I knew his name was going to be Hero. And I look at this and I'm like, okay, I'm going to show this to her. The only person I can honestly trust was you. And I, I handed it to her and I was like sweating bullets when you were reading it. Cause I was like, oh my God. But she's like lame. <laughs> and then just like throw it away. I loved it. Cause that's exactly what I wanted. Like we did Snow Kiss and I wrote that when I was like quite young and just kind of turned it into something a little bit on my own with a beta. And that was kind of it. Mm-hmm. And then later we joined forces and really tried to make it into something more. And we're going to do even more than that soon. Um, but at that point I was already feeling a little bit outgrown from that because I wrote it when I was so much younger and yeah. I really wanted something with the corporate world because that's what me and her do during our day jobs is we work very corporate jobs. So I just wanted something with that because there's a lot of drama and fun that can be had from that and she really captured it in what she wrote. So I was like, definitely we're doing this. Yeah, and I just liked that you took on the, the you took on Minor and Boss's like personality and made something so awesome from it. And it was just like, when we collab and we write together, we bring out the best. So. We'll say one thing and that's we we spent like hours and hours just curating their personalities and their backstories. Yeah, we're like, so who are their parents? Like where did their parents meet? Like how did they come to have this child? What happened with the child like throughout childhood? Like that's all that we went through, even though these characters as that bar, if you didn't know each other at all from childhood, we still wanted all of that to exist mm-hmm. so that they could be a complete character and not a cutout of an archetype. And then we have CocoLi.83 asking, are there any new releases or other developments we can look forward to this year? Touched on this a couple of times already, but yes, Summer Camp is for lovers this summer, hopefully. Um, and then the BL special, hopefully wrapping out the end of the year. And then the last thing, which I think is a good way to end the video, would be talking about the something that we're really working in development on, which is Snow Kiss Romance, mm-hmm. our very first game. We've been a company for two years now, so we're still kind of a baby company, obviously <laughs> officing in our house and everything yeah. like that. Um, but we really want to make it something special and we have so many ideas for that Mm -hmm. Um, and I think it's going to be amazing and we need to get all new art Um, the sprites are going to be totally different and that's going to affect some of the CGs as well and the storyline is going to be a bit updated so we wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be two ways you can support us in doing this effort because a lot of you guys like Snow Kissed as it is and can't wait to see it level up even further. So if you'd like to purchase it in its current state and kind of see the initial concept for the game, obviously it's going to be completely revamped and a lot better, I hope, in the future. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's one way and you will get the story when they're revamped at no extra charge. So if you bought Usui's main story, 
when it comes out the new one, you're gonna be able to play the brand new story with brand new art and everything for no extra cost. Yeah, you're only paying it for it once. If you buy it now, you'll still get it, you know, essentially almost free the new story the next time. Yeah, so then the second way you're going to be able to support us is we're going to set up an account that you guys can directly support us at. And the link to our Ko-Fi will be in the description. There you can see everything that we're planning to do for Snowkissed, why it's going to be costing a lot more than a typical project would for us, and we really just want to level everything up going forward for you guys. Still being a baby company and Yana and I still working full-time jobs, it is difficult to try and pay for everything on our own out of pocket like we have been doing up to this point. We can and we still will be funneling our own resources, especially sales from Evermore, it makes it easier. But even with that, we're estimating it's gonna take two to three years to get Snowkiss rebooted. So that is a long time. And if we had your guys' support, we could maybe do it in a year and then we could move on to even more projects, season two for Evermore, season three for Evermore, getting out a new concept that we have that we're super excited about. Um, yeah, we just really wanna grow as a company. And I think in these beginning stages, it would really help if we had some support from you guys. So yeah, no pressure at all. But if you have the means to and are excited about the reboot, definitely think about buying us a coffee on Ko-Fi. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an option because a lot of you were asking for it. You guys can support and comment and like be a part of the journey. Yeah, so we'd love to see that. And um, follow us on our um, Otome, I almost wanted to say Twitter, but it's YouTube. Oh yeah. yeah. We also have a YouTube account. <laughs> <laughs> it's under my name, Kayla's Lovely underscore, but it's basically both of our channel. Mm -hmm. um, we post Otome related videos, have it in a little bit, but we're going to be coming back to that this year yeah. around this. Yep, and follow our Lovely Ink Twitter account if you're not already. If you found this through Instagram, if you're on our YouTube, follow our Twitter. You can follow our accounts as well. We're always down to talk and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty and much it. this YouTube channel too, actually, we're going to be posting more things on it in the future. Mm -hmm. Some shorts, um, different things like that. So stick around if you'd like that. Yep. And yeah, just comment below anything you want to know. We'll answer any additional questions in the comments. But it's been an amazing, very special year with Evermore. And we just can't wait to keep growing. Yep. And thank you guys all for all of your support with Evermore, with Snowkiss, all of that. We really appreciate all of your kind comments and everything that you guys say to us because we talk about it all the time. Yeah. Oh, to me, Twitter, especially. We really didn't get into Twitter until like this past six months. Mm -hmm. You guys are so nice. Seriously, we've met so many awesome people that way. Yeah. So we hope to keep connecting with you guys. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Welcome to Evermore. Did you miss me? Uh, why me? All right. I know you can rock these meetings. Hurry up. This stick in the mud isn't going to wait forever. <laughs> I'm not opposed to that.